and we are live. Assalamu alaikum, everybody. This is the original scary Ammi, and I am delighted to be doing yet another live session. You know, the live sessions are such a great way for me to like always stay connected with all of you. And so many of you have reached out to me and said that, you know, the live sessions are one of the things that you love the most about scary Ammi because aplongo literally aapke ghar pe you get you know access to so much information be it health or education or activities for children or opportunities so thank you for all the love and today we have with us a very special guest to hum log kafi like dino se home bridge ki baat kar rahe hain which is pakistan's first hybrid a levels so first of all jis jis mother ke bachcho ne O levels passed. You know, congratulations! Your children are done with the first big exam of their lives. Inshallah, many more exams to come. And whether your child got A's or B's or C's or A stars or distinctions, honestly, it doesn't matter. This is coming from somebody who, like, I think I had world like I was one of the first students in Pakistan to get world distinctions and maybe. A's ki lines ki and like honestly looking back my kabhi kabhi sochti hoongi maybe it would have been better to have more of a balance in my school days so congratulations to everybody whose children have passed O levels as long as your child tried their best that's really all that's needed not the exact number of A's or A stars or B's that they got they passed it they did their best great job moving forward it's now time for A levels which is honestly the most important exam because I feel A level is a pre university exam and jab mai medicine mein bhi gayi thi so much of medicine ki grounding was the biochemistry physics i did in a levels so to me a levels is probably the most important exam of your child's life because it sets the ba- the basis for university so we are here with mr haris ikbal who is project director of home bridge a beacon house project and i know ke scary ammi pe bahut zyada Beaconite moms, eh? So they can all relate to <coughs> Beacon House and Home Bridge is Pakistan's first hybrid A levels. So we will discuss the hybrid heck yeah and everything. But first of all, welcome to you, Mr. Harris, and great to have you here. Thank you, Ji. Thank you very much. So, Ab, uh, Mr. Harris, मुझे ये बताएं आप कि if we start with um you know hybrid so hybrid ki jo term hai ye obviously covid mein um, pandemic mein bahut like baat hui ki ab hybrid kaam karo aur hybrid learning karo what hybrid jab aap baat karte ho a levels ki to what does it mean like because google classrooms to almost har school abhi bhi use kar raha hai to hybrid mein aisi kya nayi cheez kar raha hai home bridge ki we call it hybrid acha okay um देखिए द वर्ड हाइब्रिड मीन्स अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ टू राइट हम हम द वर्ड हाइब्रिड वी हियर अ लॉट इन टर्म्स ऑफ हाइब्रिड कार्स वो गाड़ी जो पेट्रोल में भी चलती है रन्स ऑन बैटरीज एज वेल व्हेन कोविड केम एंड कोविड हिट अस ऑल द होल एंटायर वर्ल्ड आई मीन दिस द वर्ल्ड हैड सीन अ पेंडेमिक लाइक दिस इन द लास्ट हंड्रेड इयर्स इट मेड एवरीवन रियलाइज दैट वी नीड टू अडॉप्ट टेक्नोलॉजी इन ऑल एस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ लाइफ इंक्लूडिंग एजुकेशन which is where the idea was born to have permanent education online uh, offering the offering benefits of education beyond a pandemic so the word hybrid jis tarah maine gaadi ko example diya it means a combination of two in our case it's a combination of online learning and a combination of online plus physical learning in the school so in our context it means ke aapki jo bachcho ki padhai hogi that will happen online their everyday classes will happen online they have content available online but jo unke practicals hain lab work hai that they will go to the school and do the exams they will go to the school and do because aapko pata hai cambridge ke bhi tak exams online nahi hote wo unke centers mein hote hain and the extra curricular part if you want to join maybe a debates uh, a club you want to play cricket you want to do swimming that part then you can go to any of our beacon house schools to do that so if you do the uh, studies online and all other aspects which relate to education aap unko offline kar sakte hain in offline means physically in school ja ke so um uh, haris we were we've been discussing like home bridge and ye model kuch dino se so mothers ka ye kehna hai 
I mean, and वैसे भी like you know जब pandemic हुआ तो बहुत सी मदद को लगा कि भाई हमारे बच्चों के तो दो साल जाया हो गए हमारे बच्चों का एक साल जाया हो गया अभी भी लाइक like, बहुत सी माए कहती हैं कि भाई बिकॉज पैंडेमिक में हमारा बच्चा बड़ा हुआ उसकी बेस नहीं बनी हुई सो so, अगर मैं अपना एग्जाम्पल दू माई सन वॉज थ्री थ्री एंड हाफ एंड पेंडेमिक स्टार्टेड सो ही वॉज रियली यंग एंड ऑनलाइन लर्निंग डिड नॉट सूट हिम सो उसके लिए आई टू कम अप विदर्निंग पॉड इवन अदरवाइज पीपल फील की भाई ऑनलाइन लर्निंग विद चिल्ड्रेन इज नॉट वेरी इफेक्टिव ऑब्वियसली ए लेवल इज अ डिफरेंट डोमेन आपको लगता है कि you know have you done any studies or looked into the online learning at the a level level is it as effective as in person is it less effective more effective what is the effectivity level ji dekhiye they are uh, we ourselves have conducted a market study but our study was very small uh, if your the, our audience the mothers can google the internet and see the advantages of online learning online learning especially for children is actually has better results as compared to your uh, physical learning i'm not discu- discouraging learning in schools by any any aspect but dekhi the thing is that jis bachche ne online nahi padhna wo ko guarantee nahi wo school mein bhi padhega i have taught to students of o levels i've taught in universities जिन्होंने नहीं पढ़ना होता वो क्लास में टीचर डांटता भी है बाहर भी निकाल लेता है वो नहीं पढ़ते जिन्होंने पढ़ना होता है वो क्लास में भी पढ़ रहे हैं उन्होंने कोविड में भी पढ़ा उन्होंने घर में भी पढ़ा उन्होंने ऑनलाइन भी पढ़ा तो दैट एस्पेक्ट आई फील के ऑनलाइन के अंदर एक्चुअली अकाउंटेबिलिटी थोड़ी सी ज्यादा है हाउ दैट इज पॉसिबल के अब आपका बच्चा अगर क्लास ज्वाइन करता है हमारा हाउ वी विल वर्क हाउ होमब्रिज विल वर्क योर किड्स लॉग्स इन टू द क्लास वो अपना कैमरा ऑफ कर लेते हैं और वो कैमरा ऑफ करके गेम खेलने लग जाता है इमीडिएटली द टीचर विल गेट अ नोटिफिकेशन दैट स्टूडेंट हारिस हैज टर्न ऑफ हिज कैमरा एंड द टीचर विल देन बाय नेम ऑब्वियसली एड्रेस दैट स्टूडेंट का अपना कैमरा वापस ऑन करें अगर स्टूडेंट कैमरा ऑफ करके सो गया जो मैंने कंप्लेन सुनी है पेरेंट्स की कोविड में ऐसा भी होता था बच्चे क्लास ज्वाइन करके सो जाते थे तो दैट चाइल्ड वुड बी मार्क एबसेंट एंड दैट चाइल्ड अटेंडेंस विल बी सेंट टू द चाइल्ड पेरेंट एट एंड ऑफ द वीक कि इस हफ्ते में आपके बच्चे की चौदह क्लासेस हुई है उसमें से छह क्लासेस में वो टाइम पे आया तीन में उसने कैमरा ऑफ कर दिया दो में वोट के कैमरा ऑन था वोट के चले गया था तो एक तो हमारे पास वो अकाउंटेबिलिटी आ जाती है दूसरी चीज ये ऑनलाइन में एक बहुत बड़ा बेनिफिट है कि यू नेवर लूज कंटेंट। आप अगर आपके बच्चे स्कूल जा रहे हैं आपने शादी के लिए चार दिन शहर से बाहर जाना है तो आपका बच्चा जब वापिस स्कूल जाएगा तो वो क्लास में बच्चों से नोट्स मांग रहा होगा कि यार ये नोट्स दे देना मैं फोटो कॉपी करा लू क्या पढ़ाया था ऑनलाइन के केस में वी आर रिकॉर्ड हमारा कंटेंट जो है डिजिटल हमारा कंटेंट वी आर क्रिएटिंग वो ऑनलाइन आपके लिए अवेलेबल है जो क्लास हो रही है वो रिकॉर्ड होके ऑनलाइन जैसे ये सेशन हो रहा है वो क्लासेज इस तरह रिकॉर्ड होके ऑनलाइन अवेलेबल है नोट सारे ऑनलाइन अवेलेबल है असाइनमेंट्स क्लास क्विजेज ऑनलाइन अवेलेबल है सो ऑल दैट इज अवेलेबल टू द स्टूडेंट ऑनलाइन सो रिगार्डलेस विद स्टूडेंट ने ट्रेवल करना है इस्लामाबाद से कराची या कराची से दुबई the student can be anywhere and still can join their classes and be part of that karachi ke andar isko jo ho raha hai unfortunately with the rains and the terrible flooding and interior sindh mein uh, shahar band ho gaye hain offices band ho gaye hain schools band ho gaye hain online is a very good enabler to ensure that no matter where you are what is happening that you are able to connect jis tarah hum connect kar pa rahe hain and that you are able to you know learn from that to so while bilkul main manta hu wo maon ko fikr hai वट मदर्स नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड इसके जो कोविड के दौरान हुआ था वो ऑनलाइन नहीं था कोविड के दौरान कोई स्ट्रेटेजी नहीं थी कोविड के दौरान जी लोगों ने कहा जी जूम पे आ जाए गूगल पे आ जाए तो दे वॉज नेवर इस केस में तो हम ये नहीं कह रहे कि ये कोविड की वजह से हम कर रहे हैं हम कह रहे हैं हमारा प्रोग्राम ही ऑनलाइन होगा तो कीपिंग इन माइंड हमने इसको डिजाइन इस तरह किया है कि बच्चे को हमने वो सिस्टम्स क्या होंगे वो कंटेंट क्या होगा इनकी प्रॉक्टरिंग टेस्टिंग किस तरह होगी तो वो हमने डिजाइन फ्रॉम डे वन इस एस्पेक्ट से किया है कि हमने बच्चों को ऑनलाइन पढ़ाना है सो वी आर नॉट फायर फाइटिंग वी आर एक्चुअली डिजाइनिंग अ सिस्टम दैट इज गोइंग टू इंश्योर दैट वी कैन टीच चिल्ड्रन ऑनलाइन ग्रेट अच्छा सो वी आर वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन um which i think leads us to another point that i wanted to bring up so one of the issues we faced in the pandemic and like i have four kids and this was an issue i faced even though mujhe lagta hai ki hamari family badi technically advanced and we realized ki all our children don't have devices and i think ye bahut mothers ko realize hua because aapke chote bacche hain to you tend to keep them away from ipads and laptops ab even you know at a level level what if every child doesn't have a device so i know that um 
Homebridge is also coming up with a financing solution for devices. So if you can tell us a little bit, and is that like, is the financing solution also extending to internet connections? Is it just for devices? What exactly is Okay, so they can, uh, of course, if you want to do anything online, you need a device. It can be a mobile, it can be a laptop, it can be a tablet. I mean, it can be any device. It can be an iPad, Apple Ho, Samsung Ho, it doesn't matter. You need a device. So that goes without saying. With the device, of course, you will need internet. Okay, these are prerequisites. There's no denying it. We aren't forcing the child to buy anything. Okay, we aren't in it that we have to send a device to someone or Samsung or Apple or that you have this device. Nahin. We are open. You have to use your existing device. You have to use your parents' device that you can spare in the day for 3-4 hours. If you can say that you can use your device, you can use it. Suppose we get students who don't have a device, nahin, jo aap kehna chari, they don't have a device. In that case, we, as you have said, our website homebridge.pk, we offer financing services which parents are able to purchase a device of their choice. And we uh, have signed up with a company which will financing karegi without any collateral. And you can break that up over five to six installments. And for example, you have 60,000 rupees ke tablet PC. Liya. So you can pay 10,000 rupees per month for a period of six months. And you know, get the device on day one and pay for it in installments. And we are the internet bhi bundle karke de rahe. So for the duration of your A-levels, we will give you uh, an internet device with internet plus that device that, that either you have of your own or you can get from financing. And that becomes uh, part of your journey, learning journey with us. Oh, wow. That is amazing. So, um, yes, because I think ye, that was my next question was about internet. So it's great that you're giving them internet and you're giving them yeah. the device. Achha, uh, um, you know, I think that given the inflation, which is in record high levels, I have never had so many mothers reach out to me and say, we just can't afford to have our kids go to school. And I think, I mean, you work for one of the largest school networks. I think the number of parents who choosing to take their kids out, who are delaying admissions is, I mean, historically, probably I've never seen this happening. So, when you know, price sensitivity, what price difference? Because A-level is an exam, expensive exam. So can jo, kare, or regular yeah. can jo typical top of the line schools are like Beacon House, you know, you have competition like City, LGS, you know, they have Takas or good schools. They cost anywhere between 40 to 55,000 a month uh, for A levels. Now, that you're right with the level of inflation. If you have two, three children who are studying, and in your case, mashallah, four, right, uh, that's, a, that's a five, mashallah. Great. So that's a big cost. I mean, that's, that's a huge cost and we totally understand that. And they think that the purpose of this project, when, when I joined Beacon House for this particular project, plus I also run IT, but primarily for this project. So when I, when I was being interviewed and I was discussing this project with the owners of the company, I mean, my personal aim was that because I'm somebody personally, just education, ke saath, bohat se shock hai. I have set up and run a company which provided online education to girls from grade four to grade eight in the most remotest areas of Pakistan. This really? is about 10, 12 years back. Gee. So I I personally am very passionate about education. That's why in the start, I said I've taught at every level. Uh, and I've taught because I like teaching. I want to give something back. Maybe I was very fortunate enough to have excellent teachers growing up. I grew up in Australia. I had wonderful teachers who taught me so much that I owe my success to them today. So I've always wanted to give back. So when we discussed this idea with the owners, I discussed this idea. The idea was that let's, so Beacon House, you know, we have, mashallah, 200 schools. We have over 110,000 students. We, if we just want to make money, believe me, it's not difficult for us to open up another 20 schools, you know, we open up schools, we have a great brand, 47 years, we can keep adding students. The purpose of this project was that we wanted to offer quality education at an affordable cost. Now, how can we offer a quality education at an affordable cost? Our single biggest cost is the brick and mortar. It's the expensive buildings. It's the air conditioning in every classes. It's the security guard standing outside. It's the admin staff. Everything that is required to run a physical school that is eliminated in online learning. As a result, 
we are able to offer pri a price that is less than a third of the monthly fee. So if you are paying 45K a month, normally we are gonna charge you less than a, a third of that. And even on top of that, we are offering scholarships up to 100%, we are offering financial aid. Because the real purpose of this is that we want to reach out. We are already reaching out to the students who can afford it. We are already doing that, alhamdulillah, very successfully. Now we want to reach out to the students who can't afford it. Students who cannot afford 45,000 rupees a month. Parents who feel that they cannot match up to the buying power of the students who are going to these schools and they may maybe they don't want their children to pre, uh, feel underprivileged, right? We want to reach out to those parents and give them a chance to educate their children and offer them quality education at a very affordable cost. So uh, less than a third, less than a third. And even on top of that, uh, I have told my team that if we find any student who's competent, who's intelligent, there is no way we will let that student go. We'll, we'll, the free will be free. I will pay for the student's device myself. We'll give them internet. I want students to come and study. I want to give them a chance to study and to take an international level education. So that come tomorrow, if they want to proceed ahead with the studies in Pakistan or grow abroad, that they get that opportunity that maybe richer children or richer children from privileged families are getting that we offer that to them as well. So that is personally why I joined. I want to make that difference. Uh, I've tried to do that all my life. So, I mean, this is the next chapter of what I'm trying to do. Um, and uh, inshallah, hopefully it will, you know, make a difference in the coming years. That is so, so good to hear. And it's um, amazing that you yourself are so committed to this cause. So we have a few more questions about K sure. because it's hybrid, you know, like, I mean, Pakistanis are not just suffering in Pakistan. I think they're also suffering in Dubai where there is no concept of free education. They're suffering in, you know, uh, many other countries. So are you also, I mean, does this apply for students who are not in Pakistan? Because we obviously practical skills. So can students outside Pakistan also benefit from Homebridge? Okay. So even though we weren't marketing it outside Pakistan in the first year, although we definitely plan to go internationally, it's part of our plan starting next year, we still got queries from Saudi Arabia, UAE, you even the United Kingdom from Pakistanis living there who were interested in the program who wanted to join the program. In fact, we are going to, we have already enrolled a few children from outside Pakistan, despite not offering it or not marketing it in the, in the first year outside Pakistan. I mean, having, I was born abroad. I grew up abroad. I studied abroad. I know very well how expensive education is, right? Um, it is, I mean, in the UAE, you are looking at spending maybe 1,500 dirhams, 2,000 dirhams a month in a good school. Not even in good school, in an average school, right? Uh, that's uh, over 100,000 rupees, 120,000 rupees a month that a parent has to spend. And I mean, when you have two, three children, that's going to cost you, you know, you're going to be spending maybe 30, 40% of your salary just on the children's education, which is where I think the real benefit of a beauty of our program lies that we are going to offer it to uh, students, not just Pakistanis, but students living all over the world, right? Um, so definitely our plan. In terms of the practicals, the lab work, the exams, the first year, they will have to come to Pakistan for that. We will make a schedule for that so that they come one time. They don't have to come repeatedly. They come one time. They ideally come once for the practicals, year one, and then they come for the exams in year two, and that's it, right? We are willing to... Uh, provide accommodation. We have our hostels, excellent hostels. We are willing to provide accommodation, transportation services in case the children don't have relatives or you know a place to stay. So starting year two, so we have schools in the UAE. Beacon House exists there. We have partner schools. We exist in Malaysia. We are in the Philippines. We are in Oman. So we are in multiple countries. Where we are not, we will partner up with different schools so that we can give the children the opportunity to do their exams, practicals, you know, sports, extracurricular in those schools as well. Oh, wow. That is fantastic. Acha, um, we have questions about the class sizes. So, you know, when we talk about like online education, I think the effectivity also depends on like, 
you know, I had to, like, I was part of incubators during the pandemic. And I realized that online learning, completely different flavor when it's like four people and completely different when it's 40 and then completely different when it's 400. So online learning, obviously it's also linked to how many people do you have on Zoom or Google Meet? So are you capping class sizes? Because I feel one of the issues with online learning is because seats ki zarurat nahi schools are like, you know, let's just, it's just a Zoom link. So, but hi, job, but hi, job, but hi, no, not at all. Uh, we, we aren't definitely going to do that. The, the class size that we have in Deacon House is 20. We're going to stick to that. It's going to be 20 children per class. Beyond 20, we can have a separate class, right? Uh, it's not that my Zoom link with Jamba. I Like I said, I have, I have teaching experience. So I know that beyond 2025, it becomes extremely difficult for the teacher to be able to give time to students, to questions. So definitely that's going to happen. Uh, at max, we're looking at 25, but ideally I've asked my team to keep the size to 20. So 20 students per class and that's it, no more than that. So the social aspect, um, you know, is one of the reasons that we send our kids to school. We want them to make friends and do things together and have play dates, probably excursions and coffee dates when they're in A-levels. So, I mean, I know that online may be obviously those things out there, but are you, are you trying to figure out a solution to the social aspect, you know, the children get to see each other, like what those things are networking that people want from schools? There, there is going to be a, a small compromise. Of course, for sure, that's, that's going to be a case. But we, like I said, we have extracurricular programs. We, in fact, have signed up with the Duke of Edinburgh uh, a program. It's an extracurricular program that's designed that has different uh, aspects to it, which includes, you know, hikes, trips, sports, different elements to it that the student would have to undertake. So definitely we understand that socializing and you know interpersonal skills and communicating is a big aspect of it we are going to ensure that wherever we can get our students together we can organize activities including activities that may be separate for females as well because we've i've had this question as well that some parents especially in, in the rural part of pakistan aren't very comfortable with their daughters doing uh, co-education right in fact i just had this query two days ago that would you have uh, extracurricular activities where it's female only, right? So um, I understand that aspect. Uh, every parent has the right to, you know, uh, bring up their children with how they want. So definitely we have we have thought of that and that's something that we're going to be addressing in our program. So however much we can, we'll try to make sure that, you know, we keep the children engaged with us. Great. Acha, people obviously find the idea of 100% scholarship like extremely attractive given, you know, this is like, probably one of the worst inflations I think Pakistan's ever had, if I'm not wrong. But at least in my lifetime, it's probably the worst. So, you know, what is the criteria? Is it first come, first serve? Do you have a minimum criteria? Will every student get it? Of course, I mean, every student won't get it. I mean, that's for sure. But depending on your marks, right? So if, if you have scored X percent in matric, for example, because matric students, by the way, are also eligible to apply. Oh. There is no rule that students who have done matric cannot do A-levels, right? So, uh, uh, and if and you've done O-levels, depending on the grades you've gotten. So definitely, depending upon how good your grades are, you know, you can be offer scholarships starting from 20%, right up to 100%. And apart from that, we offer financial aid as well. So it may be that you're a good student, not an excellent one, but a good student, but you come from a deserving family, your family isn't that well off. So we are willing to look at that on a case-to-case -case basis as well. And like I said at the start, that if I see a good student who can't afford the fee, then I'll definitely, because see, here's the thing, why can I offer scholarships so easily? I don't have that brick and mortar cost, right? My operating cost is far lower than my campuses, than my actual physical campuses. That is why I can afford to offer these scholarships. That is why I feel that this can make a bigger impact. Because if I were to ask my bosses that let's offer 100% scholarships to unlimited students in Beacon House, they wouldn't be very happy because we have to, we have rents to pay, massive rents. I get asked by, by parents, my sisters, who I'm sure are watching, they're all teachers. So they understand. I used to question them before, if you have a thesis, do you So now that I'm, I'm part of the school, part of the management, I understand that the thesis is not increasing, but we have to increase our rents. 
हमारे भी इंप्लॉयज की सैलरीज बढ़ गई तो जारी बात है Of course, we have to do that. But in my case, I am able to absorb a lot of that because I don't have a lot of those expenses. So I want to pass that benefit on to my student, and that is, I think, where we can, you know, offer those scholarships, financial aid, on a case-to-case -case basis. And uh, like I said, uh, I won't let any good student, uh, intelligent student, miss out if they want to study. So that money will not be a problem. That I can assure you. That's amazing and so so good to hear. acha one a question jo i mean not specific to homebridge but you know it's i think a big worry of parents yeah, you know medicine remains the most desired profession in pakistan so a lot of people when we talk on a levels um and because my dad was vice chancellor of uhs so much the bahut zyada log puchte hain and i really don't have a good answer they want to know ki bhai is a levels just a bad idea if you want to do medicine like is it just i mean something that you should not do so since you will you are running an a level school what what is your take on it should you not do a levels agar aapne medicine karni hai especially if you want to get into a government quota is the equivalent still really bad okay so it has uh, thankfully over the last few years they have changed it starting from the entry test was purely based on the fsc uh, syllabus now it's 60% fsc and 40% a level so that part has been addressed to an extent and i mean now because a levels has become is starting to become very popular in pakistan uh, a lot of schools are offering it so the acceptance criteria has also changed as well so the the disadvantage that a levels had especially in terms of getting admission into medicine has not drastically reduced right uh, so definitely that has uh, happened in the last few years but i i think one thing i want to say here is that I mean, for a start, nothing against FAFSC, right? They are our own internal uh, education um, systems, and in, I mean, I mean, they're doing a, a good job. I see one of the biggest advantages, whether you're doing medical or you're doing uh, engineering or computer science or whatever you want to do moving forward, that the beauty of A levels is that you get to do a minimum of three subjects and you can pass A levels. So you are very focused, right? you are very focused and you are very aligned in terms of what you are doing whereas in ffsc you have to do the 7 8 you know a whole variety of subjects which you won't use in your career so if i want to do computer science for example after a levels i am study maths physics and computer science all subjects with today which relate to my future studies i don't have to study anything that's irrelevant i think that part of it if you're doing medicine you need to study biology physics chemistry right you can study subjects which you really relate to what you want to do in the future i think that in itself is a huge advantage because i believe the because fa fsc especially fsc you have to study so many subjects you are forced to memorize things wo jo ratte wala concept hai na wo aap itne subjects padhne padte hain ki fir aapko majboori hai ratta marna padta i think one of the biggest advantages of a levels in terms of not just admissions but your future is that because you're doing concept based learning it becomes very easy for you when you do your bachelor's and masters whether from pakistan or abroad that it becomes easier for you to be able to adapt and to understand concepts and uh, study international books and international curriculum which is taught in bachelor's and masters i think it's a it's an advantage for students who have done a levels as compared to students who have done fsc or fa to you know do those degrees where the books and the content that is taught is of an international standard okay great so i mean is there this homebridge have some kind of partnership with cambridge how is it working is cambridge on board with the idea that you know a levels is being taught online also like some parents want to know is this an experiment or does sim do similar models exist around the world because like pakistan mein it's obviously the first time that we've heard of such a model and iske bahut zyada advantages are mainly like money and distance and saving of petrol and time and um access to remote people but is this a model jo duniya mein has it proven to be successful and like what does cambridge say okay so we are definitely affiliated with cambridge not just pekanas but homebridge as well we are pakistan's first a uh, certified online school by cambridge so we have spent four months ironing out the program with cambridge because cambridge are very interested in how will you teach how will you conduct uh, practicals and lab work and etc etc so they were very interested in how we going to do it 
uh, Cambridge has about 25 uh, registered online schools all over the world, right? Uh, so this is a model that has been happening. There are a couple in India. There, there are a few in New Zealand, Australia. The UK has the most, I think. So schools do exist and they are growing. I mean, we just spoke with a company in a, sing, a, a school in Sri Lanka just last week. And they are planning to set up exactly the same thing. Primarily to address the inflation and the terrible situation in, in uh, Sri Lanka. But yeah, they're planning to do that. So definitely uh, we are affiliated. This model is catching up. And a couple of years down the line, I want everyone to bookmark this video. I'm telling you this, that a couple of years down the line, you will see there'll be a mushroom of online schools uh, because I believe that not just the cost, but the ease of education that we're providing, I think is going to matter a lot moving forward. So yeah, there'll be a lot of these schools. Right. Achha, another question that people want to know is, ke, which is, you know, again, not really linked to Homebridge, but like ye zyada debate hai ke, uh, A levels versus IB when it comes to university admissions. So you were in a tricky spot since Beacon House offers both IB and A levels. So you can say IB is But for parents whose kids have done O levels and who are thinking, ke, bhai, what how do they make that choice like so many people ask me this question and honestly my daughter is in an ib program but she's like in grade five so i'm like i don't know i chose ib because i thought it was more suited for her but what would i do going forward i don't know so can you help parents figure out kiss basis pe decide kare ke bachche ne kahan jane? okay so I mean, there is there is no there is no one uh, model fits all kind of thing. I can't give an opinion that would fit every parent, right? Uh, parents have to see their children. They have to see the aptitude of the children. They have to see the aspirations of the children. I think they for to start off with, there's a big cost difference between. If I just talk about brick and mortar, I'm not talking about Homebridge for a minute, but if I talk about brick and mortar, FSC, A levels and IB. So there are three tiers. In terms of difficulty of education, IB is probably the most difficult. You know, it requires rigorous learning, right? Um, it's expensive as well. There's no doubt about it. IB probably is expensive. Uh, the examinations are tough as well. So you need to decide what the child wants to do, what, what future does a child want to take? I think that's the first thing. Then the, I mean, of course, the cost part, IB is offered in very limited schools even in the larger cities right and the smaller cities isn't offered so my parents are from Saival there's no school in Saival offering IB so even if I'm a multi-millionaire in Saival I can't have my child studying IB right so that those aspects I think are the first things you have to keep in mind of course I mean IB is a great program I couldn't do IB because my father couldn't afford it the school I was studying in Australia they offered IB but I mean the fee of IB was my father's salary for the month so it was either it was either he has me do IB and the rest of my sisters, I have Marshall, four sisters, they do nothing and we eat nothing. Or it was that I just do, uh, I just do a standard education. And I think that's, that's really important in terms of, you know, uh, whether you can afford it or whatnot. But definitely, I mean, IB is great. I think that's why you have put your children, your children in IB because I'm sure you understand that. But I don't think that if, it, if your children don't do IB, I don't think that's the end of the world, right? I'm sitting in front of you. I haven't done IB. I think I've done pretty well in life. I'm very happy with where I am. Uh, but again, like I said, I think it. I think what at the end of the day, the advice I want to give the mothers who are watching is, I think it really matters how much the parents support the child, right? I think that really matters. Parents have to make the child make the right decision and educate the child. And whatever decision that they make and the, with the child, I think they stick to that. And I think... Uh, um, I mean, it's all it's all about what you want to do moving forward. Everything is FSE is fine. Ninety nine percent of children do FSE. Uh, the level the share of A levels is about one percent or one point two percent, right? So it's not that the A level market is huge, but yeah, I mean, uh, whatever works for you. And IB is even smaller, by the way. So yeah, it's uh, it's about about choice. I think all are good, but some have their own benefits. So. So one of the things with, um, you know, you write like the 1% that do A-levels, the issue is that most of them want to go abroad, which is kind of one of the reasons that they're doing A-levels. So placement and college counseling is a huge thing. And now that we're talking about cost cutting, like I know so many parents 
have asked me to actually set up like a college counseling thing, which mm-hmm. I don't want to, okay. because they're like, hey, people are apparently charging like 10 lakhs, 15 lakhs to just do your child, you know, to help your child with their essays and applications, which is insane. That's more, that's much more than what Homebridge is charging to help your child do A-levels. So how are you going to, because A-levels, the second part is to facilitate the child in getting to the university phase. So are you doing college counseling? Is that something that Homebridge is offering? I think that's an excellent question. And uh, even though our first batch will start next month and they will graduate in 2024, I have already hired two guidance counselors from even before starting the program. And their job right now is to start talking to schools internationally about scholarships, about admissions, about how they can, you know, accept our students. Because for me personally, the success of this program is going to be how many of my children can I get scholarships within Pakistan and outside Pakistan. I want to see children who have graduated from Homebridge go and study in the top universities in the US, UK, Canada, and Australia. That will be a success for me personally, right? I think that's where we want to ensure that our our task doesn't end when the child does their exams for A-levels. If the child is going to spend their uh, time in Pakistan after A-levels, we're going to be having the two month uh, workshops after the A-level, which is part of the fee. We're not, not going to charge anything extra. We are going to prepare the child for the medical exam. We're going to prepare the child, for exam for NAST, for FAST, for GIK, for LUMS, for IBA, wherever I want to go, to ensure that our children can successfully get an admission into their next uh, institution of choice, right? So that's more important for us because I don't have a fancy building to sell. I don't have a swimming pool and basketball courts. I can show parents swimming pool hai, basketball courts hai, cricket grounds. I don't have that. What I have is that I'm going to help parents materialize their dreams and make them come true. Help them get at their children get admission into these schools, these prestigious schools and colleges abroad, right? I think that is my uh, that is what I can offer. That is what Homebridge can offer. Whereas, and I know big schools, including my campuses, Beaconhouse campuses, we offer swimming pools and basketball courts. I don't have those because I don't have a campus, but I will make sure that I help your child move forward with their journey. And I think that's going to be one of our biggest advantages that we're going to offer these services free of cost as part of our offering and make sure that we help place our children in the top uh, universities in Pakistan and abroad moving forward. Wow, that's great. I think if you can get students into universities, I think that's how parents judge an A-level school. So my boys go to HSN and like, Jesse ye time aata, you know, the first questions are A-level result kya hai? Bache kaha gaya hai? A-level result. People forget about the football grounds, the cricket grounds, everything. Because I don't know, I think like I'm now beginning to believe it. I went to Colombia and I've now telling my kids, you know, you don't even need an Ivy League education. In fact, that should be like your backup plan. Your go-to plan should be to do what you want to do by the age of 18, not ke up char sal or art sal or. But the standard and dream of every Pakistani parent is ke Ivy League bon jai. Chai America mein Ivy League's ko importance de na de. For a Pakistani parent, it is the thing they want to trumpet for which they spend like years so have you reached out to like universities we have we are are those universities receptive like for a start i want to allay this concern of all the all the audience who are watching that just because the students will study at homebridge which is a hybrid program that there will be any disadvantage absolutely not right there's going to be no disadvantage. They'll be treated exactly the same way that our students from Beacon House are. Absolutely no disadvantage. We are already talking to universities where we're telling them about Homebridge. Our, that's what my guidance counselors are doing. That's what I'm paying them for, right? They're no students right now because classes haven't started, but they already hired for the last four months. I'm paying them because that's their duty to find universities, talk to them. So we're talking to every kind of university. Ivy League universities, I mean, it would be fantastic if all my students would get into Ivy League universities, but I'm a realistic guy. That's not going to happen, right? So we're talking to all kinds of universities. All kinds of universities in, in 
all kinds of countries, right? To ensure that I line up a variety of, I mean, a lot of parents say that even if the child gets into a top level university, they can't afford the fee. They yes, can afford yes, the yes. they can afford the cost to for, for the child to stay, or yeah. some parents just cannot afford to send their child abroad yeah. because they just yeah. cannot afford that uh, distance from the child, right? So, Pakistani universities, yes. foreign universities, we are already talking to them. We are already telling them about our program. We are already telling them that we'll have our first batch out in twenty twenty four. So we are already in the process of doing that. So definitely, that's something that I am uh, pursuing with my team. We are pursuing. So definitely, rest assured. We are more worried about this than the parents, especially for my first few batches where we have a point to prove because after that, my students will prove that point for me. But initially, we have to prove that we are proactively doing this for our children. So definitely, definitely. Wow, that is fantastic. Okay, so tell me that um, how will, so you know, you said that students will be able to access data, they'll be able to, you know, go back, look at videos. So is this all happening on Google classrooms, which obviously has limitations or do you have no, like okay. more? So not at all. So we, we've actually bought uh, a learning management system or an LMS from the, so it's the best LMS in the world. Uh, it's used mm -hmm. by over 5 million students in the US. Um, so we've actually bought a license for that for our students. So they're going to have an entire portal. There's going to be a student portal. There'll be a parent portal, a separate portal as well, where a parent can monitor the progress of the child, log in whenever they want from their mobile or from a laptop. The student would have a portal where by subject, they'll see their content, teacher comments, questions, assignments, lectures, our uh, recorded material that we're going to make available. So it's not just Google Meet. We, we, we will use Google Meet or Zoom for the conferencing part, but that's maybe 1% or 1.5% of the system we're offering. So I, we are spending tens of millions of rupees in developing this because, see, my classroom, my building, my uh, auditorium, my halls are going to be my digital world. So we're creating a digital school. So we are, we are spending money on our, on our digital assets. So definitely, you know, making sure that we have the best content. I mean, even in terms of just talk about the content, we I'm spending, you know, 25, 30 million rupees recording the content. I could have just picked up the content from YouTube. content So I told the, my bosses that, no, I don't want to use Kisi Ka Banawa content. Hum apna content we're going to tailor it to the A-level program, specific bite-size, 8-8, minute videos honge, ek -ek concept, ek -ek topic explain karenge, depth me explain karenge, so that the child has entire course in snippets available, jab chahe, jo chahe wo dekh sake. So we are investing heavily. Ye nahi hai ke bache Google Classroom mein aajayenge aur bas aake teacher se nahi. That is what I said. COVID में तो ये हो रहा था ना कि बच्चे ऑनलाइन क्लास में आगे गूगल मीट में वो किसी बच्चे से कनेक्ट नहीं हो रहा किसी बच्चे को आवाज नहीं आ रही सो वी गोइंग टू मेक श्योर दैट हम हम तो एक है ही डिजिटल स्कूल सो वी गोइंग टू मेक श्योर दैट वी रिजॉल्व ऑल दिस इश्यूज यूजिंग स्टेट ऑफ द आर्ट टेक्नोलॉजी एंड इंश्योर दैट फ्रॉम डे 1 वी गिव द चाइल्ड अ मच बेटर एक्सपीरियंस दैन दे हैड इन कोविड वो दैट्स ग्रेट अच्छा अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल वांट टू नो व्हाट द फैकल्टी बिकॉज़ आई एम श्योर यू नो ए लेवल टीचर्स आर लाइक सेलिब्रिटीज सो um do you have any celebrities on board are you making your own like rockstar teachers because no. bahut se logon ko lagta hai ki you know a level ka result is dependent on the teacher Agreed. and apparently lahore mein kuch legendary teachers hain jinke ant ke results aate hain okay so nahi ab dekhe uh, there are areas where we are saving money, like building and whatever, and air conditioning, electricity, that like I said. But there are areas where we're not saving money. Faculty is one of them. So my entire faculty who will be teaching are all existing A-level teachers from either Beacon House or the top schools, right? There is nobody, not a single teacher that I've hired that is fresh, right? The teachers who have recorded the content, so my content ki baat kar raun, they are teachers which are even more experienced, even more renowned names that children have heard, right? So there is no, the, the, there are certain areas where I cannot compromise, right? The area where I cannot, where I can least compromise is my teachers. So we have the best teachers. We have teachers who could easily walk into any A-level school tomorrow and get a job. Right. 
सो मैंने ऐसे नहीं किया कि मैंने एंड आई यू नो हाउ गॉटन दम आई गॉटन दम बाई पेइंग दम एक्स्ट्रा टू कम एंड जॉय बिकॉज देव हेजिटेंट देव हेजिटेंट के सर वो तो स्कूल है वहां पे तो हमारे क्लासरूम भी है बच्चे भी होते हैं यहाँ पे वो में है so, उनको अले करने के ऐसे आई ट्रस्ट माई प्रोग्राम सो मच I'll offer you extra, but I'm not going to compromise on my quality of teachers. So that is one area where we have not cut corners at all. We are saving on, like I said, a lot of things we are saving thanks to online. But teachers is not one of them. So rest assured, best teachers who will be monitored, whose videos will be recorded. I'll I have a team of academics who will be monitoring them to make sure that the teachers, in fact, my teachers don't get scared. Because typically, classroom me, what happens? Classroom me, K level teacher came. दरवाजा बंद किया और वो शुरू हो गया पढ़ाना जो भी है कोई भी नहीं देख रहा लेकिन इस केस में वो जो टीचर पढ़ा रहा है उसकी वीडियो रिकॉर्ड हो रही है वो बाद में रिव्यू होगी देखा जाएगा तो टीचर को भी पता है कि जो भी मैं बोलूंगा जिस तरह भी पढ़ाऊंगा वो सब कुछ कल को देखा जाएगा कोई और देखेगा उसको ऑडिट करेगा क्वालिटी चेक करेगा सो यहाँ पे विल इंश्योर इवन अ बेटर लेवल ऑफ एजुकेशन मोर अकाउंटेबिलिटी people like mark zuckerberg and bill gates have constantly said this is you know now a skill based economy it is no longer an economy of degrees it's an economy of skills so when we talk about schools like i think hey, this is an area that most schools in pakistan are lacking but since you guys are doing something so cutting edge are you also figuring out a way to teach the kids skills which are beyond the curriculum yeah i mean so part of what we can offer in our extra curricular is going to be offering you know skill based programs where i i personally have ambitions of wanting to teach children having to uh, wanting to teach general programming and graphic designing and you know how oh, to get dang. business online uh, i i'm a big believer in the freelance market i know of children who are like 15 16 and earning 1000 dollars a month sitting at their home yeah, right yeah. i i i'm not i'm not one of the zuckerbergs and the you know steve jobs who say that the degrees are irrelevant i still believe a degree has some value but i fully believe that skills come first right i've been working long before i got a degree and the only reason i've been working long before i got a degree was that i started programming when i was 12 so by the time i reached age of 16 17 i had the skill where i could do something make money while i started doing my bachelor's so i want to do the same for the children moving forward i want to give them practical skills so part of what we will offer in extra curricular will be these skill based programs and i'll encourage these students that once they graduate from us that they take a couple of hours out every day they make themselves available online try to you know get work online so that you know they can start earning their own pocket money and they can start gaining that practical experience so that once they have get caught on their Uh, university education that they have experience moving forward where they can you know hit the ground running and either do something on their own be an entrepreneur or you know get a good job so definitely yeah, yeah. wow so that that sounds really really good okay so we still have a lot of questions but i think we're out of time so let me just see if um we can uh, let me just see if there are any um questions that we haven't covered okay one question that a lot of people want to know is ki you know generally in schools when you want to go for admission you go for a tour so in like a school tour aap book kar lete ho so in the case of home bridge like where do people go matlab do you have a virtual tour set great. up how do they meet you great question so i mean uh, there are two three ways to do this one is that when you fill the form out online one of our representatives will contact you right and uh, you know you need to submit certain documentation because there's a full process we have been have to process your admission see your marks and you know we we will have our guidance counselors and our like head of academics work with the child to ensure you select the right subjects right um, and then we set up a google meet where the child can talk uh, to multiple teachers including i typically because at, at the moment we we have maybe you know over 60 students signing up where we we have the liberty of talking to each child one by one and having his or her three teachers who will be teaching him or her you know on the call so the child can talk to them and you know build that comfort that okay these are my teachers we uh, are interacting with them every day whatsoever so yeah definitely that digital tour plus if you are based out of lahore 
where we are uh, headquartered in our head offices i've had parents actually bring their children to our physical office head office in on guru mangat road in lahore uh, where my team sits and they've actually sat with the team and they've actually you know gone through uh, what is going to be how is the program going to be taught um, so definitely we've done that okay great and maybe in the future you could i don't know set up like a virtual tour of your we will school. we will set up a virtual tour i i because i'm a tech guy i'm a, I'm yeah. a pure tech guy at heart so i plan to set up a 3d school in the metaverse so oh, i have okay. ambitions that's, yeah that's so, so cool. i have ambitions of my students wearing these so have you Oculus bought your glasses. plot of land in metaverse yeah. yet yeah so i am actually i've been in the metaverse for about a year now Uh, doing some development uh, in that as well, but I have plans of building Homebridge in the metaverse as well. So yeah, wow. so I you could be in a three D school with <laughs> looking around, seeing everything else. So yeah, so definitely that's something that's part of my plan moving forward. So, uh, like I said, uh, technology is allowing us to do so much. This is just a start. Yeah. So my yeah. students are in for a, a crazy ride with us moving forward. Yeah. So have you bought a plot of land in the metaverse yet? Yeah, I've actually bought some real estate. <laughs> yeah, I've actually bought some real estate. So yeah, so uh, the prices in the metaverse are going up as well, just like the real world. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Great. Okay. Last question. That you know, like I was just thinking that the great benefit of an online school is that like, Abhi, though we talk about like you know the mafia of the A level teachers in Pakistan and how the good teachers like. also apparently i don't know cuz my kids are all primary but like i've heard that they do things like say okay, okay if you not going to come to my tuition where i'm going to charge like 50000 rupees i'm not going to help you like xyz so everybody ends up having to also go for tuitions because apparently the amazing teachers are very few and the students who want them are huge but with an online school you have the the potent i mean the opportunity to really reach out to rockstar teachers around the world who i'm guessing that some of them are you know way better and more experienced and more seasoned than teachers in pakistan which like i was just thinking that you know i mean i think ginti ke lahore mein do maths ki teachers hain a levels mein who are known as the legends and everybody's running after them but you could bring in like the best experts from around the world so so far you've spoken about like faculty but is there a plan to have an international faculty or experts from around the world teaching courses or is that going to be like too expensive no okay so i think this is the beauty of online right if i were to so for example uh, beacon house we have a couple of brands called tns and newlands which are our premium brand premium brands uh, some of the faculty of those brands is international the heads of these schools are from either canada or the us or uk right so the international as well very expensive you know extremely expensive right uh, but we have them because these are premium brands in my case i don't have to bring those expensive people to pakistan i don't have to arrange a house for them and a car for them and a driver for them right they can connect with me online and we because we can house we exist in eight countries outside pakistan this is definitely in the plan that we're going to engage in pakistan teachers because when we going to have international students very soon right as soon as next year i am going to have international teachers as well so definitely so i mean imagine a class i want you to put picture this scenario right imagine a class which has 20 children three are from gujranwala two from lahore one from islamabad one from karachi one from swat one from peshawar and then one from malaysia two from dubai one from saudi yeah. and the teacher who's teaching them is based out of the uk Yeah, this is only be. possible the via time zone would be like a nightmare like what i mean, I mean so the okay so that see here's the thing the best part is that the middle east is great we have plus yeah. minus an hour right yeah, even the uk is is 4 hours right which is manageable we can start our classes for, because we are ahead of the uk right we can start our classes a little late this is the beauty in online i could start my class at 3 pm at 4 pm the yeah. students don't have to go anywhere whereas if you had to send your daughter to a school at 4 pm or 5 pm in the winter you'd be very hesitant ke andhera ho gaya bahar kaun chhodne jayega fir 8 baje kaun lene aayega right in this case we can we can do all that so definitely have plans to have international faculty to reach out to international students so definitely the students what they may miss out on in terms of social interaction every day 
they will more than make up for it when they have international teachers and international students in their class definitely wow so it sounds amazing i think it's definitely a model for a lot of parents to explore and look into um so last question and this is actually the last question is ke you know what about students who are not homebridge students like students who are doing a levels like you have so much to offer with your skill based classes your learning management systems the potential of foreign teachers your guidance counselors are you is there like a possibility of an after school program or extra online or i don't know homework okay. help all that okay so i mean i mean so primarily we are a online or a digital school right we aren't a support program or a tuition center but having said that the student is not obligated to take the entire program for us suppose somebody is studying uh, in sahiwal for example and law isn't offered in their school where a level is offered so they could pick up two subjects in the school and they could take law with us or for yeah. instance what if law is offered in your school but the teacher isn't top notch you could only sign up for one subject with us so you could oh. you would have access to the lms to my teachers everything but you are only studying one subject from me so i can allow students to take one subject two subjects the minimum of three subjects to do a levels and some students have even opted for four subjects three plus one so there is no constraint in that so definitely you can you know take even one subject if you want uh, so and use that so a student let's say studying at you know xyz school but not happy with the teachers because i've heard ye kafi common hai a levels mein ki bachche school hi nahi jaate Ji. in a2 so you know they're not happy with the teachers whatever they could potentially also be they could they could, so they could, they could be potentially be on in fact we've actually signed up uh, two students who are in a2 who have said that wo humse padhna cha rahe hain aur bas aage apne school mein nahi karna wo name the school but continue nahi karna cha rahe so definitely dekhi online mein you have to remember the beauty is flexibility yeah i am very flexible because my program allows me to be flexible so jaise bhi humse hoga we will be able to do that and uh, definitely uh, our aim is to ensure the best quality education for students so jaise bhi humse hoga Uh, there was one question that my team sent me that I just want quickly want to address about uh, orientation for parents. So I just got that from my team that somebody wrote that in the group. So once you fill out the form, somebody from my team will call you. If and depending upon your interest, आप कहते हैं जी मैं कराना चाहता हूँ मैं और जाना चाहता हूँ. Somebody from my team, one of my parent relationship officers, will set up a call with the parent to go through an entire orientation session with them. where we'll spend a good half an hour 45 minutes with the parent allaying all their concerns and queries and questions jo bhi inki zehen mein hai ke matric ke baad mera bachcha kar sakta hai koi disadvantage to nahi hogi uski acceptance kya hogi bahar ja ke ye to nahi hoga aise jo bhi hai we will sort that out the parent so rest assured parents that aapka koi concern hai just fill out the form go to homebridge.pk fill out the form somebody from my team will contact you within the next 48 hours we are very prompt on that because i follow up on that every day my team is very prompt mashallah i have uh, my team even right now wo wo group ke andar na sawal dekh rahe hain ki agar koi sawal miss ho gaya to wo mujhe bhej rahe hain uh because we know that we need to put in 150% to make this work so uh, any parent who is interested 48 hours we will get back to you and we will set up a session with you to you know take do an orientation with you for the entire program wow that is fantastic well thank you so much haris and you know there are lots of more questions but i know i've been talking to your team about maybe doing like a closed room zoom session where parents can directly ask you questions without I having think that'd me. Be great. Yeah. yeah without having me as a translator because not just questions about home bridge like generally i feel there's such little opportunity for parents to get guidance from experts so you know parents who want to but you tech for their children or parents who just want to understand a levels or ib or all this so we should definitely do that because i think you have so much to contribute but homebridge sounds so fantastic and i'll definitely be keeping a look out because i think by the time my kids are ready homebridge would definitely be like an established success story inshallah and uh, i mean uh, to conclude one thing i want to say is that i mean in in pakistan unfortunately i've seen 
uh, little discrimination with girls when it comes to quality, quality of education. कि हमारे यहाँ वो फिलोसफी है कि बेटे को महंगे स्कूल में पढ़ा लो और आई नो आई हैव फ्रेंड्स जिनके बच्चे बेटे जो है विकनास में पढ़ रहे हैं और बेटियां जो है एजुकेटर्स में पढ़ रही हैं क्योंकि एजुकेटर्स की फी कम है ठीक है ना तो पेरेंट कहते हैं यार ये लड़की है वो है आई हैव थ्री डॉटर्स माई सेल्फ राइट माशा आई हैव फोर सिस्टर्स सो आई एम सराउंडेड बाई फीमेल्स तो आई मीन आई पर्सनली एज अ फादर ऑफ थ्री डॉटर्स आई एम वेरी वेरी प्रो फीमेल एजुकेशन I want to ensure that my, I mentioned my early company, Tele Talim, where we worked on education of grade four to grade eight girls. Here as well, I want to ensure that I give opportunity to everyone, especially जो बेटी है मेरी, who are unable to go to school, who parents को issue होता है कि बेटी school दूर है, सुबह छोड़ने भी जाना है, वापस आओ, फिर लेने भी जाओ, वापस आओ, कैसे करना है? या कई family अब पढ़ा करती हैं, हजाब करती हैं. राइट स्कूल नहीं भेजना चाह रहे आई वॉन्ट टू वी कैन नॉट सक्सीड एज एन इकोनॉमी इफ यू डोंट एजुकेट आवर डॉटर्स तो आई एम वेरी मच फॉर दैट कि आई वॉन्ट इंश्योर आई रीच आउट टू ऑल गर्ल्स हु आर अन एबल टू टेक एडवांटेज ऑफ समथिंग लाइक ए लेवल्स एंड इन शाह यू नो ऑफर दिस नॉट ओनली टू माई टू द गाइज वेयर पेरेंट्स आर यू नो टेक यू नो वो अपना पेट काट के वो कहते हैं जी बेटे पे खर्च कर देना है बट टू टू डॉटर्स एज वेल राइट बिकॉज फादर ऑफ थ्री वेरी मच अलाइन विद दैट थिंकिंग सो इन शाह I think that home bridge may be an entry point to a lot of parents to put their daughters into uh, good schools, uh, good quality schools where good quality ed- education is offered. Uh, so, inshallah, looking forward to seeing a lot of girls, a lot of my daughters in uh, home bridge, and uh, I want to help them get these scholarships. I want to see them go abroad. I want to see them join Google and Facebook and Microsoft, and you know, make us proud and make Pakistan proud as well. So. Yeah, I just want to conclude with that. That's so good, and that's a great place to conclude. Thank you so much, Harris. It was such a pleasure talking to you. Wonderful, wonderful talking to you. Uh, my three daughters there in there. The nanos are will be watching Eliza and Fatma. Right, I am actually <laughs> in my house. Uh, so they are there spending. I think the weekend with their uh, grandmother. That's so nice. Um, they love watching their father because I'm traveling a lot. So uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. So uh, I I'd, I'd have them do. Uh, so you're doing distance shopping. parenting right now. Yeah, I am. I am. Yeah. I do have them do online A level so they can be they can be with me, right? So I can be with them. I can see them all the time. So yeah. That's so good. Uh, yeah. Good. I'm so thank glad. you. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you everyone you. who's watched and uh, look forward to getting some good uh, feedback and hopefully some good admissions from uh, potentially interested parents. Yes for sure for sure thank you thank you thank you bye bye